The first time I wanted to find out how you made a watch dial, I did what anybody would do. I asked. But the answer I got back was a little bit pithy. The answer was, it's alchemy, meaning black magic, meaning no recipes, meaning no standard ways of doing it. But one thing you can say for sure is that it's complex with many, many steps, 40, 50, as many as 70 steps to arrive at the finished end product, the dial. We can't possibly show you all of them here today, but what we can do in La Chaux de Fonds is show you some of the principal steps along the way to get to a finished watch dial. If you've looked at a date window on a watch, I doubt that you have imagined the process to create it. Contrary to what you might have thought, it is not actually cut. It's created with a press like you see in front of us, which is called a friction press that brings down as much as 200 tons of force on the face of the dial to create the hole. Why would you do that? And the reason is that with this method, you can get a complex shape that is impossible to achieve by mere cutting. An essential step for every dial is the drilling of holes. Of course, there's going to be a hole, which is for the axis to carry the principal hands of the watch, but as well, many precision holes for those dials which have applied indexes. Each index held by tiny feet inserted into the hole on the surface of the dial. Many dials have a color treatment to them, and the way in which a color treatment is achieved is through a galvanic plating process. That is to say, putting the dials in successive chemical baths to get just the right color with just the right hue and just the right texture. There are a variety of textures which have to be created, and to arrive at that result, one needs a variety of brushes. Different lengths on the bristles, different widths of the bristles, different strengths of the bristles. And the way in which you arrive at just the right texture for just the right look is another one of the black arts of dial making. This particular process is creating the texture known as sole, which looks like solar rays coming out from the center of the dial. Every detail has an effect on the way the dial is going to look at the end the speed of the turning, the entire process is entirely delicate to arrive at that perfect result. So this is the dial before, and you can see that the soleil pattern that's been applied to it is incredibly subtle. This is a good illustration of a dial with a complex mixture of textures. If you look closely, you'll see that the outer diameter of the dial, which is the chapter ring, uh, has a brushed effect which is circular, going radially around the dial, whereas another zone of the dial, such as that for the power reserve, which looks like an arc, is polished flat. In order to get to that result with two different types of textures, separate processes are required with protection of the dial in those areas where the process is not being applied. Here we have an example of one very small zone of a watch that's getting a particular treatment applied to it. In this particular case, a horizontal brushing. This is an example of applying a circular texture to the surface of the dial. It's entirely a hand process. Everything depends on the coarseness of the material that she's applying and the force with which she applies it. A lot of inspections to get to just the right final result. One category of dial has applied indexes, but it would not be an exaggeration to say that most watch lovers have never counted how many parts go in to the composition of a dial like this. In fact, for this particular dial, there are 43 separate elements that have to be applied one by one in a hand process. In order to apply the indexes, precision holes are needed, two holes for each, so the total number of precision drilled holes on the dial in this particular case is 86.